Let's try this again. Ignore them. They won't be quiet. There's no mute button to them. And I want to film this video outside. So I'm going to. So I'm doing the TMI tag today. And I, um, the last time I did this, I didn't like how it turned out. I kept skipping things. And I feel like I'm going to keep doing that too today because I'm dyslexic. <laughs> and your eyes jump around when you're dyslexic. So, okay. What am I wearing? I'm wearing this crop top and these, these shorts. And, okay. Have I ever been in love? I have been in love. Um, being, love is just a chemical reaction, chemical reaction in your brain. And I have felt that for several different people. So, yes, I have been in love. Have I ever had a terrible breakup? I've had two terrible breakups in my life that I can, like, pinpoint to. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get into that though. I'm not sure how like much I'm supposed to dive into these. Okay. How tall are you? I am 5'2". How much do you weigh? I'm like 5 pounds over right now and I've never been like overweight before. Um, so I am weigh 125 pounds right now. Um, I was for a while trying to like gain more weight because I was too skinny and I guess I gained too much weight but I don't know I'm okay with where I'm at weight wise so like last time I was weighed which was two days ago I think was 125 and I should be like 120 down something so I should be like five pounds lighter but I'm not so. okay any tattoos not yet how many piercings do I have I have four so both of my nipples, my um, septum, and my VCH. So, um, I don't know what OTP means, so I'm going to skip that. Favorite show? I don't really have favorites. I have things that I like. I'm too indecisive of a person to have favorites. So, um, if I had to pick something, it would be like iZombie, The Fall, um, Dexter, one of those, something like that. Um, the Walking Dead's really good, too. I love The Walking Dead. So yeah, my hair is bothering me. Um, favorite bands? I'm sure I listen to bands. Goodness. I'm sure I listen to bands, but I really don't know exactly who I listen to. I just put songs on a playlist that I like, and I don't really pay attention to who's playing them, or who's sing singing them, or whatever. Um, I, asking Alexandria is a band, but I haven't listened to them in a long time. I'm I still like their music though. I just don't listen to them. Quality you look for in a partner. Um, funny, genuine, reliable, um, trustworthy, stuff like that. Um, Something you miss. I'm always missing my cats. My dad walked out here a few seconds ago and I asked him if my cats were okay. I miss my cats all the time. Um, favorite song? Last Hope by um, Paramore. I listen to that a lot. I don't listen to it very often anymore because I've listened to it too much. But that was like one of my favorite songs. Um, Sound of Silence, the, 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 the distur disturbed version. I really listened to that a million times. Basically anything on my YouTube playlist was at least a favorite song in my lifetime at some point. So anything that's on that song, anything that's on that playlist, the reason I put it over there is because it was a favorite song at some point. I'm really into Singrid right now. Singrid's Raw. Ugh, that song. Okay. How old are you? I am just turned, I just turned 21. Zodiac sign is Cancer, I believe. I was born in July 10th, so if I'm wrong, you can go look it up if you want to find out for sure. I, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I might. B, I don't think I am, though. Favorite actor? I have no idea. Somebody that's really attractive to me is the guy that um, plays The Fall. I found out, apparently, he's also the same guy that plays in Fifty Shades of Grey. And they shaved him in Fifty Shades of Grey. And that's probably why I don't find them as attractive, because I like beards. Beards are my thing. 
Okay, loud or soft music? Definitely loud. Where do you go when you're sad? My room? When I was a child, it was my tree. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? That depends on how I'm feeling in the morning. It can take anywhere from two hours to five minutes, and it also depends on what variation of getting ready I'm getting ready, if that made sense. I don't know if that made sense, but like if I'm gonna be throwing something on and going to a doctor's appointment, I really don't care what I look like. If I'm gonna be getting on into a video, I'll, I'll pay attention just a tad bit more, but not very much because I don't really care. Um, have, I ever, blah, blah, blah. have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, with my brother once. I think I've also, I think me and my mom has also been in a punching fight before, but yeah, with family members I have, not outside of my family. Okay, reasons I joined my YouTube channel, or reasons I joined YouTube. Um, I was, blah, blah, blah. originally I was making videos just for myself to remind, to remember this because my memory is extremely bad like I will make a video about how bad my memory is because it is changing very fast scary fast like one day I could know how to do something that's like just a normal thing to know how to do and then the next thing I don't know how to do it like for, for example I can get in my car one day and forget how to drive I won't know how to turn the car on I won't know how to do anything um, and that's how bad my memory can get some days. They're checking me for um, Alzheimer's because of how bad my memory is. So I have horrible memory and I just got off of where I was. Okay, so that's why I started making videos, but why I started making them public for everybody. Okay, so that's why I started making videos. I wanted to remember this and remember my feelings on things because, you know, if I go to a doctor's appointment one month from late from now I'm going to forget what happened so I make videos to kind of remind myself of how my feelings were after I got out of the appointment all that stuff because it's important for me and um, my friend actually convinced me to make it public because she says well hey like other people are in this moment with you you need you should totally make this public and it took me a while to get there but I finally started making my videos public and I deleted a lot of my videos and then put them back up in a certain order before I made everything public if just so y'all know um, because I didn't have my first video up I just had my other videos up I put my other my yeah anyway basically my channel aside from me from my memory wise basically what my channel has turned into is support for people that are in medical limbo like myself I've been in medical limbo since I've been born, and it has caused a lot of pain, pain in my life, and I'm positive that it, medical limbo has caused others a lot of pain. You know, you go to a doctor and you um, give them your symptoms and you expect to get a diagnosis, but many times that might not happen. You could have a rare disease and it, and you, and it could be harder to diagnose. They, they might have to send you to a specialist and then maybe the specialist might find out what it is quickly, but what happens if that specialist doesn't know what's wrong? You know, you're still stuck in medical limbo and it's just a scary, it's a scary thing, you know? There's no support at it and every person that has been chronically ill has gone through medical limbo at least once in their life, you know? Whether it was a few months or a few years, you know, you're they were in it and nobody really wants to talk about it because people don't tend to believe people that are not diagnosed yet um so you know like people don't believe me because of my ticks you know i tick when i need to tick if my body doesn't need a tick i'm not going to go around pretending to tick in a video to make other people believe that i tick like i have had so many comments where people are like Okay, you're taking on the way to the doctor, and then when you get back home, you're not taking in a room. I'm like, well, obviously you haven't watched all my videos, okay? And obviously you don't know anything about tick disorders, because tick disorders don't have to happen all the time. There's no um, consistency to any kind of tick disorder. Um, I only really know about Tourette's, and I'm not saying that I have Tourette's, but there's a possibility I could have Tourette's. I don't know what tick disorder I have, but I have one of them. And, um, yeah. I don't remember what I just said. But, um, basically, 
YouTube it was a, is a way for me to document my journey into the medical and through this medical limbo of mine and hopefully support others along their journey and to spread awareness for medical limbo because people do not uh, for some reason people don't come to the realization or the conclusion that there was a period of time before somebody was diagnosed they kind of treat it like you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you you have cancer and then all of a sudden boom you have cancer or you go to the doctor and then all of a sudden they tell you you have a flu and then boom you have the flu you know all of a sudden you go to the doctor and they tell you you have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis arthritis and you know boom now you have arthritis it doesn't work like that but yet people people treat it like it works out in that way i'm like dude you go to the doctor when you have symptoms of your freaking flu and then you get a diagnosis that's how it works okay were you faking before you got that diagnosis no you weren't you were still sick so why why just because i don't have a diagnosis yet why are you saying that i'm faking yes you should be skeptical skeptical of things in your life but you that does not mean you, you should be rude if you want to be skeptical skeptical however it's fucking said about my tics or about anything and anything that i'm saying on here go ahead but you don't have to be rude about it okay and i want to support people that are going through this because i know i'm like pretty sure people are telling telling them at least one time in their life that they don't believe them maybe a doctor's gaslighting them maybe it's family members something is happening to them where people are not believing that they are either in as much pain as they're saying or they're, they're they're sick or whatever it is you know i'm here i'm like i'm trying to kind of be here to tell them like hey you you know what's wrong with your body fucking listen to it don't let other people that are ignorant about what's going on in your own body tell you what's going on because they're not in it you're in it okay so that's why i started my channel i started my channel to set awareness and to hopefully support people that are in this shitty situation okay so let's go to the next one my fears are spiders definitely spiders last thing that made you cry a song i cry over everything i am a huge cry baby i might as well be pregnant like my emotions are awful like, they're just awful. Okay, meaning behind my YouTube name, um, that is a really long thing to get into. If you want to know the meaning behind my YouTube name, I will put a link down in the description and put a link up here. It is, um, if I forget to do that for whatever reason, the video is why I'm the disabled mermaid. And I made that pretty recently to when I started my channel. The last book I read was Magic of Reality by Richard Dawkins, and the book I'm reading now is The God Delusion by Richard, Richard Dawkins. The last show I watched was Eye Zombie, I believe. Last person you talked to, my mom. The relationship, the, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. She's my mother. Favorite food. I don't have a favorite food. I have food cravings, and they're random, but I don't have a favorite food, so like a craving could be like steak, um, I don't know, I don't have a favorite food. Places you want to visit, anywhere, I want to visit the whole world, I don't care where, I want to visit it. <laughs> mm, last place you were, I think the last place I went to was Starbucks. Do you have a crush? I don't. Last time you kissed somebody? I have no idea. Six months, honestly, probably. I'm not in a relationship right now, thankfully. Last time you were insulted? Today, in a comment. I don't remember what the comment said, but I was insulted today through a comment. Favorite flavor of sweet? That sounds like it's worded weird. I don't know. I like, um, Sweet tarts, like the chewy sweet tarts, those are, or like gummy bears, the hardball gummy bears, or, um, oh, I got probably my favorite candy if I had to pick would be Sprees, chewy Sprees. That's what I was actually, um, potty trained with too, so. Favorite piece of jewelry, I guess, would be these things that I'm wearing. Um, 
my dad made the point that my piercings like these are jewelry but i don't know i don't feel like they're i don't feel like they're jewelry i don't think of them as jewelry i think of them like an extension of an extension of myself necklaces i would view necklaces and rings i would view as, view as jewelry piercings i don't view as jewelry though because it goes in my body and it, it feel, it's like an extension of my body to myself so i don't view piercings as jewelry okay last sport you played i never played any sports but the last thing that is considered a sport that I did was swimming. I used to teach swimming. I was a swim instructor certified through the Red Cross. And I loved it, but I had to stop because of my health. Sadly. So. Um, last song you sang. Cry Baby. But it's the James Charles version. Like, he's not really a singer. He's a, um, what do you call it? He does makeup. But he, he got me into that song. So, yeah. Um, favorite chat up line? I have no idea what that means. So I'm not going to answer it. Last thing you, last time you hung out with anyone? A long time. I don't, I don't hang out with people. I've, kind of taken I've removed people out of my life recently and so I'm at a point where I don't have people that I hang out with and I hang out with myself some people might find that sad but I find that I am the most happiest I've been since I've done that like they were negative people and I'd rather have nobody in my life than negative people so I haven't hung out with somebody in over six months so it's been a long time but I'm totally fine with that I have used this period of my time to self grow, to grow myself, and to grow my self love. I am way more um, happier, and I feel more confident, and overall, I'm happy where I am in my life right now. Okay, so I'm gonna add just one thing that's my own because I can't think of anything right now, and my brain is like foggy right now, so I'm gonna stop here pretty much. But Basically, I wear pull-ups. I do not wear underwear. If you want to know out why, you can check out this video here. And um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you have some type of tag video that you want me to try, comment down in some tag video you want me to do. Comment down below. And as always, thank you for being alive today. I love you and have a good night. Bye.